Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kurosama here. And today we're just going to take a look at the unboxing of Figure Eye Standard Asuna from Sword Art Online. And I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my god, that is my waifu right there. You better handle her with care. Look, this ain't my waifu. I don't personally care. Um, honestly, I, I, I'm actually really married with, with a whole family. Oh god. But anyways, uh, my first wife was probably that one scientist chick from Tenchi Muyo, the one with the red hair. Uh, I forgot her name. It, it, it fails me. But uh, anyways, yeah, that was my first wife who sort of online. It was a good anime to me at the time. Rewatching it about like two, I think I rewatched it about two times. Eh, it's it's okay. I mean, I think I personally think it's it's not horrible. I've seen it a lot worse. Um, but yeah, I think people put this on a way higher tier than what it should be. But anyways, we're not here for an anime review as much as, uh, no one really wants to hear about that. We're here to take a look at this girl here. Now before we get into the unboxing, I do want to give a shout out to NewTypeHQ.com. Thank you so much for, you know, basically sponsoring this entire channel. Uh, you can pick this kit up over at their site once it becomes live. Right now, you can kind of like save the tab. So if you go down in the description below, you can click that link, go to NewTypeHQ.com, save that link, and whenever it does become available, bam, you can go ahead and snag it up for yourself. Now, for the price point, it is going for about 37 uh, I picked it up for 3000 but yeah, it's, it's about 37 bucks on NewTypeHQ.com. Now, the rest of the box art looks really good. I really love how you have all the scenery in the background from the store online. Um, yeah, it looks good. I don't really have any issues. I some looks great, you know, animation-wise. Uh, then coming over here, yeah, there's nothing really spectacular except for some really good, you know, background. That's, that's really about it. Now when you come over here, you're just gonna have some different poses. So you see her slashing. She's just kind of like, you know, chilling right there. She has a pouty face. And then over here, you see in like this injection, eh, not really much of an injection, but you're gonna have a like orange piece that goes underneath this kind of like more pale looking um, peach color to make it a little bit more vibrant. So it has like a flesh tone, which is like, you know, like a, like a pinkish uh, flesh tone. Looks good. I'm um, really excited to see how that actually works. And here's like a little attacking pose. Then she has her uh, rapier and she's gonna have some different hands and then just another little pose, which looks actually really good. Uh, over here, you get a couple of other facial expressions and yeah, it looks good. Switching over to the other side, you're just gonna get a front and rear shot and then a quick little bio, uh, if I can just get that nice and focused for you guys and here you can pause it and read at your leisure okay starting off with runner a2 so this is just gonna have some like little five parts right there for that booty uh you're gonna have some joints uh, looks like some parts of the arms and just some other little flesh tones so nothing really too spectacular it looks like a really good flesh tone part and yeah not undergated as i was really hoping but hey you know gotta keep them expectations low and here's gonna be runner B1. So this is gonna be really cool because you're gonna see all the different like face, like um, like all the pupil and facial expressions right inside there. If I can get that to uh, just focus in a little bit, there you go. Um, but yeah, you can see all the little like you know emotions and everything, man. This is looking really promising. Probably something I can actually just paint on my own uh, without using any of the water slides. But we'll see. We will definitely see, and yeah, you're just getting more uh, flesh tone colors, you got all the, the hands and such, but overall it looks really good. I mean, these facial features, they just look, it looks so, so good. Like, you can really just freehand paint this if you want. Um, so I would expect, like, people that are, you know, painters, they're, they're just going to have a field day with this. And Runner B2 is just basically going to be a lighter, almost like, not essentially translucent but it's going to be a little bit lighter of uh, some flesh tone plastic so that way when you put the orange underneath it it's gonna have that little pinkish look. Runner C1 is going to be that kind of like I don't know like golden bronze color hair whatever you want to call it um, but yeah it looks good has a lot of like a lot of good strands so painting this is also something that's gonna look really good with the finished product. And Runner C2 is just gonna be more hair and Runner D is just going to be all white so this is gonna have the dress and you know all the probably armor and stuff like just it's just a lot of the white parts. Oh, the pantsu, yeah, nice. Uh, but yeah, looks like just you know all the stuff that is white. Not seeing much of any kind of uh, designs except for over here, uh, right there. You you are gonna have some designs. So that's something you can go ahead and uh, do a reverse wash if you really want. 
Still not sure if I'm going to paint any of this, but I kind of do. But at the same time, I have a lot of other kits I really want to get around to, so we'll, we'll see. And E1 is going to be that very fluorescent orange, so this is going to go right inside the uh, previous part I mentioned. And then E2 is going to be some light green. This is going to be for the uh, the sword. And yeah, I think this is all just the rapier. So it's all it's all rapier stuff. F1 is going to be some of the red. So you know this is going to be for the uh, sheath, and you're going to have just some parts for like the skirt and all that. But it looks really good. F2 is going to be all your silver for the armor, and honestly, it looks good. I really don't see any kind of issue with this. It, it actually looks really fine, uh, but you could probably do some like, you know, nice little reverse washing right there if you want to color that uh, cross any other color, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad whatsoever. And the last runner is just going to be a stand, so that's really cool this, that this is included, so that kind of validates the uh, little bit of a pricey price tag. And next we're gonna have both a sticker sheet and a water slide decal sheet. So they look like it's pretty much the same exact thing, like absolutely. So it would be better just to go with the uh, the water slides and uh, just getting a little bit clearer picture right here. Uh, looks good. I mean, you're gonna have multiple different eyes if you wanna use those. And honestly, these are going to look really good. So if you decide you don't wanna paint the eyes, I mean, just go with the water slides. The water slides are gonna look significantly better than the stickers. And in fact, like all this, all this is going to look significantly better uh, than those stickers. So I would just recommend you, you know, take a look at my tutorial uh, that I have on my channel. If you don't understand how to use water slides, check out that video. Um, but, you know, this, you could just, you just throw that away. Let's just, just use this. And lastly, we're going to have the instruction manual. So, um, yeah, uh, looks, looks, looks nice, the instruction manual. So get that glare out of here but yeah the construction is really nice you're gonna have some of this color over here you got some more color over there and that's just the black and white stuff so yeah uh, not really anything crazy just gonna get some more poses right there and if we look down here you are going to get all the different color patterns so if you do want to paint this then you have your color guide all down here Honestly though guys, this is looking like a very promising, you know, kit. So I'm gonna build it and I'm keep an open mind when it comes to this. It, it looks a lot better than most figure eyes I've already seen. So really excited to build this and just, you know, do a review. Hopefully in the next coming days. Honestly guys, I, I would love to get so many reviews out, you know, just day after day after day. The problem is I have a son and, you know, I can't put the entire responsibility on my wife. So I usually have to like, you know, let her go take some breathers and that really cuts into the time, the very small amount of time I have available to do any building, any reviewing, any editing. So um, I, I try to get these videos out as much as possible, but right now my, in the period of my life, um, I'm, I don't have that luxury to push out a lot of videos. Uh, but I'm gonna keep on trying, I'm gonna keep on doing as much as I can. So I would say expect this maybe in the coming week or week and a half. Uh, I'll definitely get to it as soon as possible, but hey, thanks for watching guys, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye. And I'd like to give a quick shout out to all my members of the channel. Honestly guys, without your help, things would be so much harder to actually produce content on this channel. So thank you so much for supporting me, and I'm just extremely grateful, but thank you very much.